Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. The artist Joseph Louis Furman Cerveau died at the age of 90 on this day, March the 24th, 1896, and is buried in the Natchez City Cemetery. He was born in what is now the country of Turkey, but arrived in the United States in 1821 on his family's ship, the Sultana. He and his brother filed for citizenship in 1843 in Savannah, Georgia. Little is known of Furman Cerveau's training in art, but his work included transparencies, banners, dioramas, and the pall for a Catholic bishop's funeral. Cerveau had close ties to the Catholic Church throughout his life. Unfortunately, very little of Cerveau's work has survived, one notable exception being a series of banners for various Confederate companies from Georgia. Perhaps Cerveau's best-known work is his 1837 painting, View of Savannah, which is owned by the Georgia Historical Society and described by one critic as a sparkling view of a small and happy city. Late in life, Cerveau moved to Natchez, Mississippi to live with his oldest surviving child, Sophie Millette. While in Natchez, the artist attended St. Mary's Cathedral. In 1893, Cerveau executed one of his last artistic ventures, a large, intricate papier-mâché replica of St. Mary's, which was exhibited at the World's Columbian Exposition in Chicago in 1893. Sadly, the model disappeared after, after the exposition closed. Hello, I am Patricia Piazza Murphy, a member of the St. Mary Basilica Archives Committee, and this has been your Natchez History Minute.